Well, here we are at the quick speed shop, and this is just one of a series of unfortunate events that happened last night. I was driving home at 1 o'clock in the morning, about a half mile from the house, and ran into a little problem with the deer. Um, it's basically just plastic damage, the grill, headlights, marker lights, um, fenders tweaked just a little bit, but the, uh, the deer, he took off and was gone, so now I've got to go, i got to go up and dig in the parts stash and get this thing fixed up. So I just happened to have in stock, ready to go, another grill and headlight to go ahead and get this sucker fixed up. We got lucky on this one, it's all plastic and one little bend here on the fender. Didn't get into the core support or anything, just basically smashed all the plastic. Gonna have to shim this up a little bit because the fender's got a little bit of damage right here. That'll work. I'll fit it. I'll fit it up. No problem when I pull her down. So the first thing, take my new headlight. Dig for the old headlight parts. The size is this here. Here's the low beam. So the high beam is a 9005. Of course, everything's super cold out because it's like 15 degrees out. There's a low beam. I got to go inside and get a high beam. Hold on. All right, I got my lamps here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug this sucker in and see if it works. Oh, I got two carried away. The plugs got a little damaged, but they should be alright. If I have to, I'll have to go to the junkyard and get another connector. But they should stay in there for now. Here's the marker light. Try this out. Got low beam, low beam marker light, high beam, high beam, perfect. Nice part about these headlights is they're super easy to remove. Got two little clips here to hold the headlight to the core support, like so. Pull this old. Rest of the old headlight, take the new headlight, it tabs in here and then just kind of lays back in the hole. I'm going to get a persuader here, hold on. Don't try this at home. Obviously I wouldn't just beat on this if it's something good, but for a ratty winter truck it's good enough. Good enough for who it's for. I gotta get a bar of the course support. This bent right here. I gotta get a bar. Just gotta bar this back into shape just a little bit here. Must have tweaked the core support just a hair. That ought to be good. Try it again. There we go. Perfect. Go ahead and lock that side in. Lock that side in. There we go. Oh man, it looks money already. So now. The grill is real easy on this. The grill is just held in by a 
a bunch of freaking sheet metal tabs here. This has already been pre-enjoyed a little bit, but better than not having a grill. So go ahead and put the marker lights back in. Be about the easiest uh, deer repair I've done but uh, the fenders tweaked just a little bit there's a crease over the wheel well but I'm not worried about it for this truck it's close enough good enough so we're back in business <laughs> 